Alrighty, in today's video, I am going to show you five ways to create relationally connected database entries with a single click. We'll be going over buttons, database templates, automations, self-referencing entries, triggers, and database template specific buttons to create relationally connected database entries across more than one database. As we all know, we know how to create a button. I just made one here. There's nothing in it yet. And the easiest way to use a button and to create a database entry is to just do add pages to. So we can just create a new task and it quickly shows name. And we can also select other properties to show. Very simple button task and we can create a new task in that way. So when we click on this, we see that new task be created and then we have this notification pop up as well. So obviously we wanna create relationally connected database entries. And so one way we can take this task entry to the next level is by utilizing a database template. So the way we can go ahead and do that is we go to the drop down. we can go to create new template for the projects. And what that'll do is it'll lead us to this database template with this ribbon that will let you know that you're modifying a template within the database. And so one way to create a relationally connected button is we can go back here, we can copy it. And then if we go back to the database template we just created, as simple as that task button was, we can paste it in here. We can dismiss it because we don't want to sync it. And then if we click on the settings, we have those same settings. So one way we can relationally connect this task to the project within the database template is by to edit another property, selecting the relational property that we've configured, and then connecting it to this specific page. And notice how this is a blue icon, which means that it's relationally connected to the page that it's under. So when we click on done and exit out of here, and then we also set this as the default template, I can show you how it's done. And Real quick, we just created a very simple set of databases, projects, and tasks to show some of how the relational properties can be configured within buttons, database templates, and automations. Now that we've created this project template and when we click on new, the name shows up and then eventually the button that we layered into the template will show as well. Lately, Notion's been a little slow loading database templates for whatever reason. I think that's been sort of a drawback to many of us who use Notion on a daily basis. So notice how we have this new task button that we've created and it's layered within the project template database template that we created. So look what happens when you create a new task. Create a one page and we click on this. Notice how the task that we created is automatically connected to the project template. So that is just one of the ways in which we can create a button under a database template so that we can relationally connect the task or related database to the project. That's pretty neat. And I started there because we don't need to have a database template to create that as well. So another way we can create a relationally connected series of database entries is to use a button. And so let's say we wanted to create a project and a task together so that when you click on a button, you see a project and then it's automatically connected with a task. So I've conveniently created this button and we're going to do something very similar to our previous example. We're going to just add a page to projects right? Pretty simple. And then what we're going to add next is we're going to add another page or database entry within the task database. So now this button right now creates both a independent project and a task, and they are not related to each other. And notice how the template pops up here. And so if you have more than one database template, buttons allow you to now selectively choose which of the templates you'd like to create or use, which is really nice to have. The way we're going to be able to connect projects and tasks is by editing more properties within this button environment. What we can do is we want to add a relation. So we want to basically connect this task that we just added under this project. And so the way we can do that is by editing the tasks relation property. And then if you click on the drop down, it has the three tasks that are currently in the system. Notice how none of these are blue. And so that means that it's not going to be a relational configuration. So instead of doing that, we are going to move to the tasks database entry and then click on the relations. So instead of relating from the project database, we're going to relate from the task database. And so when we click on the edit property of that relation, we can see that blue magnifying glass relational property up here. And when we click on that, similar to the way that we saw in the database template, in the button we created. When you click on this button now, you create a project and then a task that is layered under that project. I'm just going to call it layered button for example purposes. So when I do click on done, and when I click on this, see what happens in the project and the task database. Create a new two new pages. 
we see the example project pop up, and then we see the layered button, which is automatically linked via that task relationship. And when we look at that layered button again, we see that that on its own is also related to the example project under the task database. So that's another really great way to create relationally linked database entries when you know that two things should be connected. And as you can tell, you can infinitely add more tasks or projects. And I think a really great way to optionally add more tasks is to create a confirmation page and say, do you want to add another task? Yes. So what we can do now is do an add page, select a task, go to the project relation, select that new page, done. So now when we click on this button, see what happens. Do you want to add another task? Let's say yes. So now we've created two task entries under the example project button that we just configured. But now we just added that confirmation page so that you have that optionality of adding more. And as you can imagine, you can add as many of these confirmation pages and following actions. So you could add five to 10 to however many tasks you might want to add when you're creating a project. Another thing that we can go ahead and do now that we've gone over buttons and database templates is to create a self referencing entry within a database template, similarly to the way that we configured buttons to instantaneously add tasks under that selected project. So we're going to go back to project template, we're going to edit it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create that self referencing database, we want to add tasks under this project, as it's related to this database, we're going to do linked view, select that task database. And in this case, it doesn't have to be anything special, we just need the linked view within this database template. And what we can do now is we can create a filter and we can create a filter for projects because we want to create a self referencing database entry. And so the way we can go ahead and do that is by containing the filter and by selecting the project template. In this case, because we have several named project template, I'm just going to change the name of it so that we can make sure that we're selecting the right filter. There's a project template here, I just changed this name real quick so that we can make sure that this filter is referencing this template. So it looks like it is. So now when we create a project template, we have this filtered view, which appears empty, and it appears empty because there are no other database entries that are currently connected with this project template. So now that we've set this up, let's see it in action. When we create new, it's going to open up that project template, we see that new task pop up. And now we see that table view pop up. And that notice how that filter is blue, which means that it's referencing itself. And so when we create a new entry within this database view that we linked under this page, see what happens, a new task is created, title it new task, and notice how it appears within this relation of the project. And if you create any other any more tasks, for example, they are all connected to this project template. And as you can see, relationally, it also shows on the database entry itself. That's a really easy, quick way to create a relationally connected database entry between project and task through a linked database view that we've configured within a database template. Those self referencing entries are very common and very practical. And I highly encourage you to experiment and take advantage of those self referencing entries. I think the last thing I will be going over now that we've sort of understand how buttons work and how the database templates allow you to create these relationally connected database entries. The last thing we'll touch on are automations. And I think automations have a lot of potential. And if you haven't checked out my automations video, my perspective on automations, notion automations, um, I highly recommend you do so because there are some limits to using notion automations, there are some relational elements like I'll show you today. But for the most part, I do think that in a few months time notion automations will be drastically different than what we have currently. Let's go ahead and jump into the automations. Automations, again, you'll need to have a plus account, you can upgrade your notion account through the affiliate link I have in the video description below. If you want to both upgrade your account and support me at the same time, that's always much appreciated. But just want to remind everyone that when you click on this lightning bolt, you might not be able to click on new automation without having a plus account. The way we're going to create a relationally connected database entry through automations is by adding a trigger. I think I've done this in other videos, but I have used a checkbox as a trigger to create database entries. And so in today's example, when we check it, we're going to want to create a new task entry. And similar to the way that we configure buttons, we can edit another property, we can click on the project, and then we can click on this page. And notice how this is the only blue highlighted thing that we can select, 
which also means that it's relationally connected and it's not a static page like these ones below. Now, basically what this trigger does is when a checkbox is set to checked, we are gonna create a new task under that project, which is gonna be layered in the ways we've configured through the buttons, the database templates, so on and so forth. Another thing that we can do to make sure that this goes back to its original form is by making sure that all projects, we don't need a filter necessarily for this, we want all checkboxes to become unchecked. So what this does is when we do checkbox a project entry, it'll create a new task and then it'll make sure to update so that all checkboxes are unchecked. Because the way we've built this and created this automation trigger is so that when you click on a checkbox, it's going to create a task. And so it won't actually undo the checkbox unless you specify here. So now that we've done that, we're going to click create and we're going to see what happens here. We're going to create a new project. We click on checkbox. Let's see what happens. Notice how the checkbox disappears. A new task is created. And that new task is, again, relationally connected to this project template. So when we do open it, we can quickly jump to that new task. And again, we can add a new task like this. We can also add a new task like this. There are many ways in which we can relationally connect database entries within each other with one click. And a lot of this stuff has not been possible up until very recently. And so uh, I just wanted to show you how to create connected database entries through a relation. So now that we've gone over several ways in which we can create related database entries, I will show you a few other features that might be of use to you. So the reason why I have some of these properties, again, is to reference and create relational entries to some of these properties as well. A really good example, we'll start with the buttons, is let's select a person property. And let's select a date property. And so when we create a new task, what do we want the person and date properties to do? In this case, when we do select the toggle, notice how person who clicked button appears and it's blue. Again, that's a relational way of connecting an interaction that someone's had with something on Notion. So when we click on that, now when the new task is created, the person property automatically is assigned to the person who clicked the button. Now, if we want to edit the date property, see what happens. We have now and today. This is sort of limiting, but those are options that we can select. And this can be helpful depending on your use case. But again, it's a blue highlight. And so when you do create a new task, notice how my name appears and the date appears. And so that's a really great way to relationally interact a single click with other database entries. Again, we can do that with other properties within this layered system as well. And then if we go to the database template, we can also select some of these properties. Again, the date and person property, right? Where person who duplicated page or when the now or today date when someone's created it. So that's really helpful. And those are very, very small things that you can add to automate certain processes without having to think about it. So I think similarly to this trigger and notion automation, notice how if you try to do that with a person, it does not work with an automation. If we do that with a date, we have a more relational responsive way of selecting now and today, right? And so this is one of the drawbacks of notion automations is that it's not as relationally connected as a database template or some of these buttons might be. And I just want to note that before we move on. Again, I'll just do a quick review of the five ways to create relationally connected database entries. We have a standalone button. We can layer a button with several database entries. We can also experiment with database templates by embedding a button within the template, as well as creating a self-referencing filter. And we also have the ability to relationally connect or responsively connect certain properties when certain actions are taken. We also made it so that when you do click on a checkbox, for example, we can create that interaction that allows us to create a new entry very quickly. As you can imagine, there's other ways you can do this, but I just wanted to show you some of the ways in which you can start to experiment with the automation of creating relationally connected database entries through a single click. I think being able to do this is incredibly helpful, practical, and efficient. And you only have to set it up once. And once you do that, you can let the automation do the work. I hope this video is helpful to you. Maybe some of this stuff was reviewed, but there are really cool ways to interact database templates, buttons, and automations, it's just gonna take a little bit of configuration. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.